40 years ago, BMW enters the world of racing with the controversial and ultimately successful CSL. This is just the beginning of 40 years of in. In 1972, BMW launched its high-performance division with the 3.0 CSL. With performance and aerodynamic modifications to meet the demands of the racetrack, the CSL proved it had what it took to be a worthy competitor. So here we all are, there were four drivers, Hans Stuck, the brilliant young uh, German driver, and Sam Posey, the American, and Alan Moffat, the Australian, and me. And Jochen Nierpach, the team manager, before the race, he got us together and he said, Hans, I wish you to go out and break the Porsches. <laughs> and to me, he said, Brian, I wish you to take care and win the race. And that's what happened. The CSL went on to win six European Touring Car Championships. Then BMW took on a new challenge, build a supercar that could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Porsche and Ferrari on the track. Their solution, the all-new M1. But there was a problem. To race the M1, BMW had to produce 400 road versions, and they simply didn't have the manufacturing power to do so. When a production deal with Lamborghini fell through, the pressure fell on the BMW Motorsport Director, Jochen Nierpach. To get the M1 on the racetrack, Jochen creates the Pro Car Series, pitting the world's best F1 drivers against each other in identical M1 cars. Following the M1 came the M Road Car. Sedans built to compete with the world's best sports cars. We kept hearing about the BMW and the V8 and all the power it had, and it was a terrific car. Racers were impressed with how similar the track models were to the M road cars. BMW insisted on keeping their race cars as close to stock as possible. This made them immensely popular with consumers and racers alike. Obviously, U.S. consumer gives us credit for that because we've never been as successful as we are today. What was unique to me was the downforce and the grip it had. And you go through the corner and, and they'd be right behind you and then you get to a high speed corner and just disappear. BMW's M Series cars continue to set the standard on the road and on the track. It's no surprise that BMW has maintained their standard of excellence with a true car enthusiast like Ludwig Villisch at the helm. You're a real true car enthusiast. Well, I, I think if I'm one thing, I'm really a car guy. I, I love cars, I love racing cars, I, I love design of cars. Our team is enthusiastic about BMW, and we have to make sure that every BMW is an ultimate driving machine. With the introduction of 14 new models in 2012, BMW defines what it will be moving into the future by now offering the connected dashboard. For models equipped with BMW apps, the driver can enjoy a fully integrated mobile app experience like Stitcher, accessing news, entertainment, sports, and over 10,000 radio shows on demand. Stitcher, now available in the ultimate driving machine. They build brilliant cars and they win championships and they're a great company. 